Moore's Mordra spell. It's a dark curse. You point your wand at the sky and have hand movement. This emits a green light and conjures the dark mark. Quote, then he realized it was a colossal skull comprised of what looked like emerald stars with a serpent protruding from its mouth like a tongue. As they watched, it rose higher and higher, blazing in a haze of greenish smoke etched against the black sky like a new constellation. This is the incantation of the spell used to conjure the dark mark, the skull and serpent sign used by Lord Voldemort and his Death Eaters. The Death Eaters cast their mark over homes of anyone they killed. Practitioners of the spell are Bartimus Crouch Jr., Bellatrix Lestrange, and Gibbon. During the first Wizarding War, the spell was prominent for Death Eaters upon committing murder. This led to the community fear of the Dark Mark to mean death was present. After Voldemort's first defeat, the Mark became absent when Death Eaters were brought to justice and few witches and wizards even knew how to cast it. The curse, because of its affiliation, was also considered illegal. In 1994, Barty Crouch Jr. witnessed Death Eaters torching Robert's family for entertainment. He used Harry Potter's wand without him knowing and cast the curse that conjured the Dark Mark during the 1994 Quidditch World Cup. The house elf Winky was initially blamed for the act, but Barty Crouch Jr. later admitted the truth under Veritasiarum. In 1996, Igor Kakarov was killed by Death Eaters for betraying Voldemort, and the Dark Mark was cast over a shack where his body was found. In 1997, it was cast over the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower by Gibbon when the Death Eaters invaded the castle in 1997, it was to lure Albus Dumbledore to the tower so Draco Malfoy could kill him. However, Severus Snape finished the task. Quote, A jet of green light shot from the end of Snape's wand and hit Dumbledore squarely in the chest. Harry's scream of horror never left him, silent and unmoving. He was forced to watch as Dumbledore was blasted off into the air. For a split second, he seemed to hang suspended beneath the shining skull, and then he fell slowly backward like a great rag doll over the battlements and out of sight. The etymology of the spell, the incantation of the spell, appears to be derived from the French word mort, death, and mordra, to bite. This alludes to the name of Voldemort's followers, the Death Eaters. The English word murder could also contribute. In Norwegian, Mors Mordra directly translate means mother killers. It may also be a reference to the word mord, which means murder. In Icelandic, German, and Norwegian, Danish, Polish, and Swedish, since the spell is cast after someone that has been murdered and sounds like mass murder. What do you think of this spell? What are some of your favorite Harry Potter spells? Drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear it. If you would like to know more about Harry Potter and the Wizarding World lore, subscribe to Chase and Josh Factor Fantasy Podcast. The link is in the bio. Or you can subscribe to Ridiculous Patronus on YouTube. Thank you, everyone. Have a magical week.